Howdy howdy y'all, Sarah speaking. For my last lecture, I want to share with y'all about those who have helped me through some of the toughest times in my life and those who are closest to my heart. Now I'm the type of person who doesn't like to show their true selves or bring out their true feelings and be all mushy, but I'll open up a little bit for y'all for this video. There are so many people in my life that I cherish so much, and I'm very grateful to say I have so many friends that love and care for me, f or at least, you know, I hope they do. <laughs> Even if I don't get to hang out with some of them and only get to talk to them in school, they have still impacted my life greatly, but some more than others. For example, my best friend Katie. She's been with me for the longest time, 13 years to be exact. Through all the fights we've been through and all the mistakes we never once gave up on each other. I know that there is nothing in this world that will tear us apart. I know this because we've done some pretty messed up stuff to each other. Stephanie Sharp is another very important person in my life. She may not be the best friend at times, and people may say she's toxic, but they don't know who she is nor what she's gone through. She may be annoying, but I love her dearly and wouldn't change a thing. Maybe. <laughs> There's also John Broda. I've known him for as long as I've known Katie maybe even longer. Him and his little brother Cyrus were like my best friends and brothers. Well, Cyrus is more like my son since I helped raise him. I am truly grateful to have these buttheads in my life. My mom and dad, they have been there for me since day one. I am extremely grateful for having parents like them. I'm also grateful for them blessing me with the six older siblings that I have even if I don't like the first one all that much. But that's another story for another time. Now out of all the people in my life, there are three particular people that I honestly couldn't live without. First up is my niece Cassidy. She is my all-time best friend. We literally grew up next door to each other, or at least until she moved several times. She means the world to me, and she is like my mentor and I would literally take a bullet for her. I am so thankful for her being able to stand up against her eating disorder. Cause if anorexia were to have taken her life, I wouldn't be able to function at all. Like I'd honestly need to be checked into a mental hospital. Next up are my two worlds, Serenity and Johnson. Serenity is my two year old niece who I helped raise. She calls me mommy and that tends to make me a little giggly. <laughs> I love her to death. She is so innocent and pure. She really does bring me so much joy. She and a few other people are why I'm still living today. I say this because I struggle with depression and I have thought about suicide, but I really don't want to get into that mushy, sad stuff because it would probably take more time than what I have. But I will say this, Johnson has helped me through my depression a lot. He's helped me learn to love myself for me and I don't know what I would do without him. We have been together for three whole years, and I'm surprised he hasn't thrown me away. <laughs> so I plan to keep this boy. He had his chance to get away from me, but he didn't take that chance. I'm just so gracious to have a boyfriend like him. Because of him, he introduced me to a world of new things, like lion dancing. Ever since I became a part of this group, i found another place I can call home. More people to add to my family. I have so many friends and family in my life today that I love so much. There are more things I would like to say, but it's time this came to an end. Just like all things in life. Just like my time here at Butler, I'm going to miss all my friends who are moving away for college and those, those teachers that I had these past four years. Even if there were some who I butted heads from time to time, I'm still glad I can call them my teachers. I love you all from the bottom of my heart and I wouldn't change nothing about my life. Those choices have made me who I am today, and I'm kind of content with that. See y'all on my next journey. Bye!